Hello everybody, welcome back once again to Let's Play The Sims 4 with Jimmy Schwartz. And here he is, moved into a new neighbourhood, Oasis Springs. He's looking forward to a new path in his life. And here he is, stood outside his new house. And here it is. It is a wooden, single-storey bachelor pad, Jimmy would describe it as. Big enough for his needs and desires at this moment in time. So we take a quick spin of the outside. And here on the inside, we can take a closer look. First of all, we have the kitchen dining room area, complete with all the necessary appliances to cook up a storm or two. Coffee machine for those times when the energy is low. And dining room, you know, dining table, chairs. We've also got uh, some musical accompaniment by the stereo over there. Some decoration. And that's pretty much it. Over here we have Jimmy's bedroom, bed, and uh, dresser. Nothing more that needs to be said about that, really, is there? And the bathroom. Nice blue effect. We have toilet, sink, shower. A bit of a decoration there, plant there, just next to the shower. And, of course, we have a mirror for practicing speech to build charisma. And here we have the study. Bookshelf. Retro computer. Circa 1980. And nice leather reclining uh, desk chair. Soon we'll have to put a microphone stand in there as well. And over here we have the red room of seduction. Not quite. It's the red living room. Complete with TV and sofa. Hopefully more will be added when we can afford it. But there you go. There's the house. Chez Schwartz. Up and running. And ready to receive its guests. All right, so here we are. Start the time rolling. Day one in Oasis Springs, Sunday, 8 a.m. And Jimmy has started the day in an inspired mood. Wants to talk about dreams with somebody and also tell a joke. I'm sure we'll get to that in the course of the day, but there are some priorities to be taken care of first. One of which is to find a job. As you can see from his bank balance, 123 simoleons. It almost bankrupted him creating this bachelor pad and therefore he needs to earn some cash quick if he's to survive as we change the color scheme of the dresser the light blue not quite fitting in no creator style or color wheel of course which makes it very difficult to get things matched up I'm sure they'll fix that in time anyway Jimmy knows what type of job he wants. Charismatic. Wants to be a comedian. He needs to be an entertainer. You've wanted your name in lights from the time you could spell it. Maybe even before. Answer your calling and claim your fame as a professional entertainer. Either making the audience laugh with you or melting their hearts with your melodies. 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. Which means we start tomorrow. Which means today is a day to enjoy yourself and get to know the neighbours. Speaking of which, here's one now. Walking on by. It's Mortimer Goth. Jimmy, catching him out the corner of his eye, gonna run on out and introduce himself. New in town, trying to make friends. Let's see how his first interaction goes with perhaps one of the more influential of oh, this town's Patrick. residents. <laughs> so, so, terrific. Ah. And the introduction Strum. goes well. Good start. Strum, strum. Gosh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so Jimmy, oh, going to get to know Mortimer? <laughs> Maybe discuss a few interests with him? See Good what master. his likes and dislikes are? And already, uh, Jimmy is getting the hint that 
Mr. Mortimer Goff is an outgoing type of guy. Which works well for us, because that's what we are as well. In the process, increasing his charisma to level one. All good stuff, of course. Orb. Nurchel. Lumbic Myrnawaj. Washupaza. Fuevko. Hey, Swarzalatuni. Squire Borbahe. Talking about art. Which leads... Jimmy on to talking about his dreams as per one of his whims. And that goes down well as well, so the conversation is going very smoothly indeed. So smoothly, they're going to engage in deep conversation. New beam, Ifla, Yibzi, Fadish, Yags. Sigloon Habiro Binakapa Nasine Pafarbol Jessine Rabana Change up the pace Philbar by cracking a joke about vampires. And perhaps how Mortimer Goth looks like one. <laughs> and he seems to agree. And with that, Jimmy acquires the comedy skill. I'd say vital for his career. A Sturm Quick impersonation of a celebrity. Zut, zut. <laughs> followed by a funny story. Hmm. Ah. And before you know it, they Tabernet. will be friends. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Be friendly with Mortimer. Should be easy to accomplish. And the two of them going inside. Shares Schwartz, eh? Oh, and no, Mortimer goes inside and thinks, you know what? I've got things to do. Nice speaking with you, though. See you later. And Jimmy goes inside to browse art. I didn't realise he was uh, the artistic type, to be quite honest with you. Sometimes... Even your own created sims can surprise you. An art buff. <laughs> His needs are pretty much sorted. Don't have to worry about those too much. And he's still feeling inspired and viewing art on the computer, further enhancing that mood. Now going to go sack himself up in the mirror. Practice his speech to further develop his charisma, just to practice a few one-liners and give himself that bit of an edge when it comes to maintaining riveting conversation with the neighbours. He wants to make a good impression. New in town. He wants to set the bar. So, charisma on comedy level one. And for his job as an entertainer he needs to reach career or charisma rather charisma level two to give himself a performance boost and for his aspiration joke star wants to introduce himself to 10 sims and make five friends and so as he's practicing his speech there he decides to go out and continue trying to meet and greet some more of the locals. As he swaggers outside, feeling psyched up and ready to work his lines yeah, on the locals. Yeah. <laughs> Introducing himself to Mitchell nice. Kalani. Ah. Getting to know him. And he finds out also that Jimmy is outgoing as well. So uh, Mortimer and Jimmy and Mitchell all outgoing. So that, that's that's good. All have something in common. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, with Mortimer, the conversation with Mitchell is going well. 
<laughs> Cracking out some impressions of or whom I do not know. I dread to think though. Lumbuk Myrna Wodge. Fremic Shinishi. Barl Payfim Young. Lady in red Pinner walks up and then walks off. <laughs> Me ploy Bajelja. And Zanook. Kasana. Steve, Steve. Murban Agush. Luanza. Miyabasa. Zatorp. Darvis. Walla Lochinko. Huh? Joking about politicians. There's always a laugh or two in that, isn't there? And here she is again, the lady in red. Now she's got the confidence to walk on past. <laughs> so both Mitchell and Jimmy are in a playful mood. Cogs whirring through Jimmy's mind here. Should we do something playful here? Should we do something playful? Could we get away with it? Do you think he's got a sense of humour? If we buzz him with a chip buzzer? Mishi Oba. Ish, ish. From the boobs. Ish. Instead, opting for the slightly less shocking flashy eyes, followed up by a impish pester. Gradum Stanzo, Leyerp. So all. Dampasa. Yekla. Paj Harugaba. Crazy eyes goes down well. Try the pester. Not quite so good. So, Jimmy using his charisma to smooth things over, straight away apologizing for the uh, insult. It was only supposed to be a joke. Mitchell forgives him. And the conversation continues. Nice save, Jimmy. Nice save. Turning on to a slightly more normal conversation about interests, rather than the constant joking and impersonating. And as we are conversing with Mitchell, who should happen to walk on by but somebody that grabs Jimmy's attention? Dina Caliente. Well, well, well. Greetings and salutations, Dina. Couldn't help but notice you strutting on by there. Friendly introduction. Hi, I'm Jimmy. I like art. I'm Dina and I like fast food. Good to know her. Ask about a day. And then followed up with an impression. Always works a charm on the ladies, I hear. Duped on a changle, boona, 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 boona. <laughs> Look at that, even the stranger in red with the grey hair and goatee beard like the yelps. joke as well. Hmm. Don't even know who he is, but I'm sure we'll stumble across him at some point in the future. <sighs> Dina can't stop, she's off to the burger joint. And uh, here's somebody else walking into Five Jimmy's minutes. path. <laughs> It's Hadley Painter. And like everyone else so far that Jimmy's reeled in with his introductions, it looks like she enjoys his company as well. And Jimmy goes off in full flow once again. Me ploy to no And with that, <laughs> he's leveled up to comedy level two. Very handy indeed. Who the hell are these two people having a conversation in the middle of our conversation? How very rude. <laughs> but that doesn't put Jimmy off his stride, no way, he's still going strong. Level 2 comedy unlocks the knock-knock jokes, and Jimmy gonna try it out for the first time. And it seems to go down well. Yep. Oh, Pimpini. 
Spino? <laughs> yeah, Fruz. But all this talking Wogrichob? and uh-huh. joking, Warba. making Jimmy feel a little bit peckish. Gamerish <laughs> Brihe, a crude clevite bores. I don't think Jimmy's the right person to be talking about money with. He's uh, almost flat out broke at the moment. No, <laughs> Cooler. Brogy. Okay, we're going to hook her in with an engaging story. Charfin, Yaskeep, Watanini, Joe, Big Kappa! About a police car chase. Shall I get her on the edge of the seat? If you're sitting down, of course. Shalba. Shalba McCorbiff. And all she's thinking about is, hmm. I'm a bit peckish, too. Janib Shrava. Bobo's Spilurv. Ibalo Noyem. Then be Shelbo. Shemp, Spalagorbanehi. Planeed? Fremic Shanishi. Borl, Hatham. But so far, so good. We've got to. Mm-hmm. Three <laughs> encounters, three <laughs> conversations <laughs> with three different people, <laughs> and all of them <laughs> have gone, <laughs> I'd say, <laughs> fairly <laughs> well. Mimblet's a Brescia. Lissarak. Plurna. Oh, Wavine. She's a foodie. That's good to know. As she uses her phone and then walks off without even a goodbye. No problem. We'll call a little later. So uh, we are getting peckish, so it would be a good time to head inside and cook ourselves something to eat. What exactly are we going to cook? I'd say grilled cheese sounds good. Only three simoleons, not going to uh, bankrupt us. So I'm sure that Jimmy, uh, although his you know, mood is playful, of course, feeling perked, feeling happy with himself, he's made three, not quite friends yet, but three strong acquaintances. <laughs> Made a good impression, yes, I think. And he's earned himself a spot of lunch. Late lunch. Might as well call it dinner. Grilled cheese. Uh-huh. Oh. Land. Having a bit of a travesty with the seasoning there. And Jimmy deciding to put on the stereo whilst cooking. Get himself into the groove. So, from the relationship screen, we can see that Hadley, Mitchell, and Mortimer have all had their relationship bars increased. They've they've got off, you know, got on well with uh, with with Jimmy. Let's just change this over. It's a bit of pop. Ah, this is more my style. I'm sure Jimmy will like it too. Look at that. Breathe it in. The smell of melted cheese on bread. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> right, let's change the volume, turn it to high, and let's rock out while we eat our dinner. And that is exactly what Jimmy is doing. Waving his finger, nodding his head, chomping on his cheese toasties. Breathe it in, son. Hit it! Ah, nice way to finish the day, eh? Conversing with the locals, the neighbours. Oh no! That'll be his clumsy trait. Better get plastic uh, plates from now on. Anyway. Time for a bit of rocking before bed. Let's see how he moves. Hmm, not bad. I can't criticize because I am hopeless at dancing, but uh, yeah. There's room for improvement, let's put it that way. <laughs> but he's enjoying himself, and that's all that matters. Day one in Oasis Springs, 
and I think Jimmy would class it as a relative success. Woo! Wave those arms! Get down, that's it, woohoo! Ah! So we'll turn it off now as Jimmy goes to the toilet. <laughs> Very nice, I like that. A bit of music, a bit of bopping, it's always... It's, you just can't help but brighten one's day. So we know that Jimmy likes pop, we know that Jimmy likes art, and we know that Jimmy likes talking. So now, taking the opportunity to try and calm himself a little bit and refocus his efforts, continuing to practice his charisma, work on his, on his lines, work on his conversational skills, his charm, his wit, all in the aid of preparing himself for his first big day at work tomorrow. Whoa, Puma, and Zanuck, Kasana, Tevenay. Ah, there you go. Success. Jimmy has reached level two charisma, which means when he goes to work tomorrow, that should hopefully give him a head start on the average oh, yeah. Joes yeah. that he'll no doubt be working with. So before finishing off the day, quick text message to Mortimer Goff to tell him that we will be on the computer very shortly if you'd care to do some online chatting. Logging on and it seems that Mortimer has uh, online as well so uh, before going to bed some chatting over the internet with Mortimer Goss to further increase their relationship. I think out of the three people that he spoke to today, I think Mortimer Goff is the most likely to become a very good friend of Jimmy. I think they got off well. And after a few minutes of chatting, it's time for bed. Get a nice night's sleep in preparation for the big day tomorrow. And yes, Mortimer <laughs> and Jimmy are now officially friends. So there's day one, done and dusted. Oasis Springs has a new arrival. Jimmy Schwartz. Is he going to be the next big comedian in town? Time will only tell, but so far he's met four people, made one friend, had a bit of a dance, and went to bed feeling happy. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Day one, at work. See you then.